Hi everyone, welcome to Digital 100. I'm Patrick Wagner and this is episode number 15 and we're talking about security keys again. Today I'm following up with a video in regards to some 2FA security keys that I bought and I've tested and I wanted to show you how you can get started with them right away. But just before I do that, I wanted to jump into the news a little bit and talk about some of the stuff that has been going on. And recently Reddit was hacked and it was exactly these 2FA security options that were hacked. And when we talk about 2FA, it really just means two-factor authentication, which means you need more than just a password to authenticate who you are. In this case, the lowest and what we all have been saying for a long time, least secure method of 2FA is via SMS. That's when the server on the other side sends you an SMS code and you add that on top of your password to enter into the system. A lot of people use Twitter for this specifically and you know it works but the problem is it's not the safest because telephones themselves are not the safest and in most cases what people can do is port the telephone to a new device, take control of that phone, receive that SMS signal um, and the code, use that code to log in and take action and do what they need to do. So everyone knows that this is kind of your, you know, it's better than not having anything. So that's why everyone says turn on 2FA and use SMS uh, 2FA if there is no other option. But not all providers and platforms are actually providing more than just that as an option for 2FA protection. So some options are security keys um, like this little guy here. but not all platforms are actually allowing them yet. So obviously it's in the news, it's big and it's important, but at the same time, I think we've been saying this stuff for a while. If you're handling important information, you wanna make sure that you're actually protecting that information. So this is the example of the key I'll be testing on the left. It has a Bluetooth functionality, an NFC chip functionality, and as well as a USB functionality. So this kind of covers the full gamut. This is also what looks to be the Google Titan key, which is what Google will be selling shortly and offering already to their cloud platform users. Um, and this key, basically once set up on your platform, is your additional 2FA security. So you will log in, and you'll be asked for your password and then you'll be authenticated with this device. So you'll click it and you'll either use it via USB or in this case um, on your mobile device, you'll simply touch it or bring it close to your device using Bluetooth, click it and it will add an additional password layer to your authentication, which verifies only a real individual with this at your location would be able to access your account. So that's the next step. That's what you have to do. We're gonna do that in this video. I'm gonna go through it a little bit. It's actually fairly easy to set up. Um, Google recommends right off the bat that you have two keys. So make sure you buy at least two keys. In my case, I actually bought three keys um, so that I have one for daily use, one for a, a backup in a safe, and a third one for traveling when I'm out and about so that I, if forever I do forget or lose it somewhere that I know I'm not worried about uh, not having an option when I get home. So those are your options. Make sure you have enough of these keys. It's sad, I went on Twitter to try to access everything and they only allow one security key. That really doesn't make any sense. So at this point, um, but it does look like Google, I read yesterday has added Apple to their platform for this type of authentication and security keys. So I think in the next, it's fair to say, I think in the next year, maybe two years at the most, I think everyone's gonna have one of these or they're gonna be built into your cell phone in some way as well. It just verifies that only the person at that location has this physical key would be allowed to make this connection. So you'd literally have to steal this key in order to break that. So that's why it's a higher level of 2FA. And there's other ones that actually require um, a fingerprint 
um, on top of that. So there are additional levels of security and it all depends on how much information, how important that information is, how much money or financials uh, or digital assets you're trying to secure as well. And that's why you have to move up on that scale of security and ensure you maximize your security for whatever you're trying to protect. So let's go into the video and, and show you exactly how to get these set up. Before we get started, make sure you have your devices with you and make sure you have at least two devices, one for regular use and one as your backup. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now pop open a browser, type in Google Advanced Protection. It should bring you here, click on the HTTPS colon backslash backslash landing.google.com slash advanced protection slash go there and you will get to Google's advanced protection page and this tells you a little bit about their program how it works how they tell you a little bit about the added security and what it's going to do for you and you can get started so I've started that process over here basically it asks you your location do you have one key for your main one another one for your backup and it even actually shows you the exact multi-pass FIDO security key I bought from our friends here. And I also have a Yubico as well. So I have these two and I'm ready to get started. Now it's gonna ask me again for a password. It's gonna log you in and there we go. So we're gonna start by adding a key. So it's gonna ask me and ask me if I can make sure that I have the key. Sorry, I can't see the button there. Now, I've added my USB cord here so we can actually see. Put it in, tap on the gold disc here once. Sorry, my bad. There you go. <laughs> you gotta make sure it's blue. Then we're gonna tap on it. I get this thing that says you have to allow it through the browser. I allow it, it does the proper connection. We name it, let's just call it test one. So you can differentiate between your keys. And that's pretty much it. This key is ready to go. Hey guys, we're back. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the second key and complete the process. So just make sure you don't need these keys with you all the time. People think you need them all the time for every single login. Um, the problem is in cases like myself who I use a VPN all the time and I jump around between locations as well when I travel, I do in fact need mine with me all the time. So, but when you're doing your day-to-day -day stuff in your own home or around, you probably aren't gonna get requested for the key that often. So when I was testing this last night, I actually had to try very hard to get myself logged out, log in through another country VPN and try to get the request to come through. Um, so just keep that in mind, it's a positive thing. They don't come with the little ring at the end, that's your responsibility because I'm sure that's where things break and fall off the most. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna look around at this, do some research and come back to you guys and see what the best options are for that. Um, these devices do charge uh, via USB in order to have the Bluetooth signal work properly. So make sure you keep them charged and ready to go. So let's get that smart lock set up on an Android device right now. Okay guys, um, so there's a few ways to do this. I'm actually going to go on to the maker of the product's website and show a little bit of how this is done. So at the back of each key is a code both a name for the device via Bluetooth and a pin code. So in my case, I go to uh, security and settings. So under settings, I went to security and then there is a smart lock function under Android. You put in your password and your code and then there's a section called trusted places or trusted devices, sorry. And at that point, I add a device. See, and here's the thing that frustrated me and I don't know if it's again just something specific for Google Pixel 2 XL phones or Google Pixel phones specifically but originally I went through this entire process first I went to the Bluetooth screen went through the process connected my device uh, the key 
via Bluetooth. Then I went to Smart Lock. Then I went to add the trusted device. It was listed there, but I couldn't click on it and it wouldn't connect and it didn't work. So I was super frustrated uh, yesterday. I was positive that this was broken and that I would be moving to iPhone in order to actually have the security I required. So I tried something else, which was when you go into Smart Lock and you go to Trusted Devices, before you go to Add Device, what I did at that point was I jumped out of the screen, then I went to Bluetooth. Then I secured and connected the device at that point and right away I jumped and added the trusted device. So because I did it in that, let's say 60 second window when I was setting up the device, then it worked perfectly. And so when I was logging into Gmail and I did it through a VPN, it did ask me for my device. I was able to click it. It connected through on my phone perfectly. Uh, it worked amazing. It blew my mind. So keep that in mind if you have a device where the instructions aren't working in this case, because in the instructions, they kind of show you to add it via Bluetooth first. And once it's in your system, then you can go add your smart lock and simply work on it that way. You know what? I'm going to add these to the instructions and see if it works for you guys. Um, I think either set of instructions work. It really depends on what your iOS is, what your model is. I think the instructions on this page seem to be a little bit more iOS slanted, um, whereas mine are Android experiences at this point. So keep that in mind. But that was really the only little hurdle I had to jump over, which was making sure they connected on Bluetooth. But once that worked, I was able to take my devices, multiple devices, add them. And then at this point, my desktop is secure. I have multiple devices. One is in a safe, one I have at my desk with me and I carry on my keychain. And another one is for traveling when I'm traveling abroad. Um, they're all connected onto my phone correctly with a Bluetooth. It's a fantastic solution so far. I, at this point, to be honest with you, my biggest frustration is that more platforms haven't kind of jumped on board and made the leap to make this easy to do. Because I went to Twitter and I was all excited thing oh great i can secure my twitter accounts twitter only allows for one so at this point you have 2fa via sms and they allow you add one security key which again is fine but it is possibly a threat as well because if you lose that key you may have some problems getting into your account and validating who you are so i'm hoping they'll expand that i'm going to find out a little bit more and i'm sure there's going to be a lot of companies jumping on board now that reddit got hacked and this hack kind of came through the way it did so that's it a lot easier almost anticlimactic i was all excited thinking that i'd be able to press this button and all the doors in the world would open up but instead it secured all the doors that i want to keep closed so i'm super happy about that and you know what, guys, I think you really need to make the move if you have anything of value online. So in my mind, if you're over 14, you know, you should be thinking about this. This is the safest way to secure your email, your drives, all of your information that you do have. And like I said, I think within the next year or two, everyone's going to have it in some function or another. So starting to use it and incorporating it will just ensure your safety and also make life harder for hackers in general. So use the links below and get yourself your own security key today. You know, super cheap options, also not very expensive. I think this was maybe 11 to $17, and this was maybe around $36 or something. Incredible piece of product. Um, great technology, great price, arrived super fast. Um, you know, I definitely think that anybody in the cryptocurrency industry, anybody in digital marketing, anybody with any kind of digital assets, you need to secure those. Um, so go out, grab one, check out the links below, subscribe to the channel, and send me any of your comments or questions via social media. I'm on Twitter at Patrick Wagner. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great day and be secure.